AI art models are changing the game, and two of the most exciting ones out there are Stable Diffusion 3.5 and Flux. These models offer amazing control net features that let you take charge of image composition like never before. In this video, I'll walk you through how both models handle control net tools so you can decide which one is perfect for your creative projects. Let's start with Stable Diffusion 3.5 Large. It's packed with versatile control net tools like Blur, Canny, and Depth. Blur is great for high-resolution upscaling. Canny focuses on edge detection for clean, structured designs, and Depth adds a whole new level of spatial precision for 3D-like rendering. Now, Flux One brings advanced tools like Fill, Canny, Depth, and Redux. Flux's Canny keeps outlines intact for precise edits. Depth ensures accurate spatial details, Fill lets you seamlessly add or remove elements, and Redux creates beautiful image variations with style and precision. Both models open up endless creative possibilities, combining cutting-edge tech with user-friendly workflows. The Canny tool is all about edge detection. It highlights boundaries and contours in your image, making it super useful for tasks like object recognition, segmentation, or adding artistic effects. To use the Canny node, first, upload your reference image. Then, set the low threshold to control sensitivity to faint edges and the high threshold to focus on strong, clear edges. Once done, you'll see a black and white image highlighting the edges. Log into Mimic PC, navigate to Workflows, and select SD 3.5 Canny. Click Operate. Choose your hardware setting, then select a pricing plan. Instant, for immediate access. Bargain, a discounted option with limited availability. Next, click Create and Start to launch the workflow. Here's how it works. Upload your main image. Adjust the threshold. Start with the default settings and fine tune as needed. The Canny tool will detect edges, extracting shapes and outlines. Add prompts to define the style, details, and composition you want. You can further refine the results by fine tuning the effect strength and other stable diffusion settings in the K-Sampler node for maximum control. Finally, click Generate and watch your image come to life with clean, structured precision. To access Flux 1 tools, navigate to Workflows and select Flux Canny. Then, click Operate. Choose your hardware settings, then click Create and Start to launch the workflow. Just like before, start by uploading your image. Adjust the threshold settings to fine-tune the edge detection. Next, input your text prompt to guide the transformation. You can also adjust the control net strength and other settings if needed for more customization. Finally, the model will generate a brand new image, maintaining the structure of the original, while applying the style or content changes you've specified. As you can see, 
The Flux Canny model create an edge map that looks like a detailed sketch of your image. All right, let's look at another example. Depth takes things to another level literally. ControlNet Depth uses grayscale depth maps to guide your images. These maps show 3D scenes, with white representing closer areas and black for distant ones. To use the depth workflow, upload an image, and the preprocessor will create a black and white depth map to guide your image generation. To use this workflow, navigate to Workflows and select ST3.5 Depth, then click Operate. Using depth works much like before. Upload your main image. The depth node will create a depth map to guide spatial composition, ensuring accurate depth and layout in your generated image. Add prompts tailored to the style and depth-aware variations you want to achieve. Adjust the setting parameters as needed. Finally, hit the Q button to start the generation process. Now, let's explore a different example. It's straightforward to use depth and flux. Start by selecting flux one depth in the workflows menu and clicking Operate. Follow the instructions and wait for the interface to launch. The workflow may look slightly different from ST's version due to its arrangement and nodes, but don't worry it follows the same steps. Upload your image. Write your prompt. Choose your case sampler parameters. That's it. The depth node generate a depth map from your initial image. It's that simple. In the following, I'll show you a variety of examples created using the same prompt and parameters. I'll go silent now, 
so you can take your time to decide which tool works best for your needs while enjoying the beauty of these images.